Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing with you guys our meal plan and our grocery haul for uh, the week of November 26th, I want to say, through December 2nd. So let's start out with the meal plan. So for this week for breakfast, we're going to have pancakes and sausage, of course, on Sunday before church. And then we're going to be alternating toast and eggs and smoothies throughout the rest of the week. For lunches on Sundays, we always just make that a major leftovers day so that we can clean out everything. Um, and then we're going to actually be having, I switched it up, instead of turkey soup, we're going to be having stuffed pepper soup. So I put a little arrow here with lunch. Um, and we're going to have that with some rolls and with some salad. And that's going to alternate throughout the week. And then we're going to do some deli meat sandwiches and cheese uh, with some chips and fruit for our other lunch. And that will alternate throughout the week. And then for dinners, um, I'm going to move this meatloaf. I made some changes, obviously. I'm going to move this meatloaf to Saturday. And then tomorrow, we're going to have a turkey noodle casserole. Um, it's a recipe that was shared by the Skinny-ish Dish, I believe, is um, the name of the website. And I use her recipe for crock pot marinara sauce, and it seriously turns out so good and perfect and makes a ton every single time. She's really great about um, providing like good, really good um, WW or Weight Watchers recipes that are low in points. So yeah, so tomorrow we're going to have the turkey noodles casserole and then on Saturday we're going to do the meatloaf with the mashed potatoes and veggies and then on Tuesday we're going to have chicken tacos and that's just from leftover meat that we had from last week so that we need to eat up so I have the meat in the freezer currently and then we just have to throw the tacos together that's super easy and on Wednesday we're going to have leftovers um, I pretty much always do leftovers on Wednesdays because that's my day where I actually work for 14 hours so um it just makes it really easy to have that as a leftovers day. And then we're gonna have salmon dinner on Thursday, so probably just some salmon fillets grilled up with you know, some veggies and uh, like either rice or if we have leftover mashed, or actually that's being made after, so probably just rice for the salmon dinner. And then Friday, we pretty much always do homemade pizza with salad. Uh, our homemade pizza for the crust, we just use uh, plain non-fat Greek yogurt and self-rising flour. It's the two ingredient dough recipe. It turns out really good. It's really filling because the Greek yogurt has a ton of protein in it. So we do homemade uh, pizzas on Fridays. And then, like I mentioned, on Saturday, we're going to actually have the meatloaf because we're gonna actually have the stuffed pepper soup for lunches throughout the week. So that is our meal plan. And now as far as the grocery haul is concerned, we'll start over here. And I just have to say, I'm like really impressed with the amount of stuff I got for as much as it was. And I'll, I'll definitely share the total with you guys in the end. So here we've got some uh, two packs of ground turkey, one for the meatloaf and then one for the stuffed pepper soup. And then, and then we've got a roll of paper towels here because we completely ran out. I got some celery salt. That is for the turkey noodle casserole. I got some red onion for sandwiches and three yellow onions for just various recipes throughout the week. Some unsweetened um, silk almond milk. This is always our milk of choice. And then I got a big bag of the Classic Garden salad mix, which I'm going to mix with some spinach and then we'll also use this spinach for smoothies this week. I normally get romaine but as you guys may have heard um, romaine was recalled once again uh, for the second time I believe this year for E. coli so they were completely out of romaine and they were out of a bunch of other lettuces like their spring mix was totally gone. This was pretty much all that was left so we're just going for it now like I said I'll mix it with um, with this spinach as well. So. And then I got a bag of green grapes because those were on sale. They were only 77 cents a pound, which is a great deal. I've got a can of petite diced tomatoes. This is for the stuffed bell pepper soup recipe. And then I've got a bag of 
cauliflower florets. I'm gonna use half of this for roasted cauliflower, which I believe I'm gonna serve with our salmon. And then I'm gonna use the other half to mix in with the mashed potatoes. That's just kind of a, a sneaky way of sneaking in veggies and also uh, lightening up you know, a traditional mashed potato recipe. So I really like doing that. And then I've got some Halo uh, Clementines here. These are my favorite, they're in season right now, and I love these just to have as a snack or on the side with breakfast, it's really, really good. Back here, I've got some Sara Lee 45 calorie bread. Uh, this is the bread that I really prefer to get being on WW. And then I've got a bag of pears here for my husband. This was a, requ a request from him. He's been wanting pears for a while and they were on sale, so I picked some up. And then I've got four gala apples here. We've got some in the fridge still, so I only needed four. And then I picked up some pumpkin spice uh, K cups. And I hope these are K cups. Yeah, they're K cups. Um, for my husband, these were on sale, so I decided to pick these up. It was only like $3.39 or something like that for this box, so really good, um, really good price for that. And then I got a thing of eggs because we did finally run out of our 60 eggs we got at the beginning of the month. So this is just an 18 count of eggs. I got a, t a couple cartons of the um, low sodium chicken broth, that's for the stuffed pepper soup recipe and also for the turkey noodle casserole. The egg noodles are for the turkey noodle casserole as well, as is this, actually the next couple things. <laughs> this is also for the turkey noodle recipe and these Ritz crackers are for the turkey noodle recipe too. And then I've also got a block of cheese in the fridge, so I figured cheese and crackers would be a good snack for us for the week. And then I've got a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper. That is for obviously the stuffed bell pepper soup. I got some iceberg lettuce. Um, their iceberg lettuce was looking really, really sad this week. This was the best one that I could find. So there's that. And then I got some pop chips for the side of sa um, sandwiches. And I also got some waffle pretzels. And then a uh, thing of guacamole. This is not the normal kind that we get, but I figured we would try something new. It was a little bit cheaper, so hopefully we like it. And then I also got some King's Hawaiian rolls and that's to have on the side with the soup. And one of these rolls, by the way, is only I think three points, which isn't bad. Um, these are really, really good. Lastly, I got the Extreme Wellness High Fiber um, wraps or tortillas. And I really, really love these. They're only one point per tortilla and this is what we have with our um, tacos. And then I just realized I left my receipt in my purse, so I'm gonna go grab that real quick. Okay, so our total at Fry's today was, dun 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 dun, $70.62. We were $9.38 under budget, which was, in my opinion, really awesome. I'm really, really glad that we did this whole $80 a week grocery challenge to pay off our credit card. Um, it's worked out really well for us, and I think I'm actually going to lower our weekly grocery budget because I'm finding from doing this that we really can stick to a lower grocery budget. It's not that bad at all. I think I will up it, obviously, a bit from the 80 because there are some things that we haven't been getting, like we really, really love the boar's head lunch meat and cheese, So, and that's kind of a little bit pricier, so there are some things that we've been sacrificing. But overall, I mean, I feel like we've been eating really well and I've been able to, you know, stick to the $80 a week budget really, really easily. So I might up our budget to like, like 100 or 120. I'm not 100% sure yet, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, um, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below and I will chat with you all later. Bye.